Good morning everybody. I actually just purchased a new HP Mini 210 and I wanted to do a review on it. Uh, one of my previous videos I show the uh, the Walmart $228 e-machine. I don't have that machine anymore. I gave that to my brother-in-law when his computer died and he's loving it right now. So I got this HP Mini to replace it. This uh, HP Mini is in the crimson red. It features a 250 gig hard drive. It features one gig of RAM. It has the Intel Atom, a 10.1 inch display, and it features a click pad, which I'm not a big fan of, and that's why I have my mouse out with it. Uh, it works most of the time, but if you you know how, and I'll just show you. If you can see here see that line if you cross it with your finger accidentally then you've just moved the mouse and it annoys the crap out of me it is so easy just to slip over that I prefer the buttons because you can actually feel when your fingers gonna go off the button but that's just me so to go over this here on the left side we have the power input we have our monitor out a USB port and our headphone jack now one of the things I'm not too big a fan of on this is it has a really tiny power input and compared to other laptops I've seen and here's the the cord here it just seems so easy that if you were to kick this it would just break off on my I have a full-size HP laptop and it's much bigger on that and on other netbooks I've seen it's bigger on that but for what it is it does the job just fine on the right side here we have our uh, card input we have our power switch two more USBs and our network port and uh, before I turn it on and show everybody what it's about I just wanted to go over how easy it was to do a RAM upgrade if you wanted to I still have the default that it came with I have the one gig stick in there and with Ubuntu on here I've never seen it go past probably 500 megs in use uh, and I don't have a whole lot of programs open we're talking maybe three or four but uh, the main bottleneck on this machine is the Intel Atom but for what I'm gonna use this laptop for or netbook sorry it's it's just gonna be perfect all I use it for is mainly to download BitTorrent stuff and I use it to remote into if I'm not here so I'll leave it plugged in here at home it works great for that so to upgrade the RAM, pretty simple, you just unlock the battery, pull it out, and if you can see these two orange eject switches, if you push them both, the whole bottom of this netbook comes off, and uh, it's just so easy to upgrade if you wanted to. And I do have the bigger battery in this, this is the 6 cell battery supposedly you're supposed to be able to get 10.75 hours of life out of it I haven't pushed it that far I've probably only used it for two or three hours unplugged like I said I mostly use it for downloading so I'm usually remoted into it and when I do that it's plugged in but uh, one of the nice things is since this is the bigger battery you can see here the rubber feet it looks like it's supposed to sit flat with a smaller battery but with the bigger battery it kind of cants it forward which makes it really nice to type on actually I, I really like that feature this laptop also features what HP calls the island style keyboard it is 93 percent almost a full scale and Amazingly enough, this is probably one of the best keyboards I've ever typed on. I don't know what material that they've made these keys out of, but I love it. I get such great traction on here. And uh, on a cheaper laptop, and I don't want to you know, say this is an expensive one, but uh, on cheaper keyboards, you know, they normally click and pop. And, you know, you can wiggle them around. These ones don't do that. It's up and down and the key press feels great so I can't say more more about that really it's just such a great keyboard but just to fire it up real quick before I end the video just to show you what it's all about I'll turn it on
And while it's firing up here, I'll just add that uh, this netbook also weighs 3.1 pounds, so it's pretty light. And you have to excuse me seeing me in the background. That's HP's the super glossy finish that's showing me in the mirror. Let's see if I can adjust that right. And you can zoom in a bit. And excuse me while I log in. So we're in, and uh, you know, pretty much it. Works great, it's fast for what it is, and uh, it can handle all the basic stuff that I'm going to throw at it. So I highly recommend this, and if you have it, I hope you're enjoying it. Thank you, and have a good day.